Hey guys, it's Ben and welcome back to Brit Tech Ben. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Logitech MX Master Mouse, which I got in the mail the other day. Let's get right into it. So some background on this mouse, it usually retails for around $100, however I picked it up from Amazon for $75 after tax, which is a pretty good price. Looking at the box, you can already tell that it's a premium product with the flap that opens up to reveal the mouse inside. And from first glance, you can see that this is a much larger mouse than most, and I think it's going to fit perfectly in my hand. You can also see the USB receiver, which is a nice addition. And on the left hand side, you can see there are instructions on how to connect the device to your setup via Bluetooth, which is great. Now on the back, it notes that there's a smart speed scroll wheel, a thumb wheel for horizontal scrolling, and it boasts 40 days of power on a single charge, which is fantastic. So first we're gonna open the box up from the top and we're gonna remove the gray plastic insert, which is gonna be housing the mouse, the receiver, and all of the additional extras. So first we're going to take a look at the instruction manual. Uh, this is just a basic Logitech instruction manual. We're just going to set that aside for now. Next up is the micro USB cable, which is used for charging the device. Uh, one side micro USB, one side USB. So it can be plugged into your computer or any other charging kind of station. Next we're going to flip over and remove the plastic covering uh, and it looks like this has got some sort of battery or something like that on the side. For right now we're going to put that aside and get to the main attraction which is the Logitech MX Master Mouse and you can feel how ergonomic it is just by picking it up. It fits great in my hands, I've got bigger hands than most and uh, it's a brilliant fit. Next up is the little unifying receiver. Uh, this is just a standard unifying receiver from Logitech. You can pair multiple devices to one receiver. Uh, so it's just going to be added to my collection of Logitech receivers that I have in a drawer. So here we have an overview of what came inside the box. Now actually taking a closer look at the mouse and you can tell that it has a premium build quality and it actually looks kind of pretty I think. Now. Flipping the mouse over to the other side, we can see the on and off switch at the top and the device pairing button on the bottom, which allows you to pair multiple devices at the same time through Bluetooth pairing. Now this is a great little function because you can switch between three separate devices or with the press of a button. Now taking a look at the other side of the mouse, you have the scroll wheel, which can switch between ratchet and continuous depending on how hard you pull the scroll wheel itself. And behind that is the button for the switch, so you can mechanically switch it between continuous and ratchet. Now on the left hand side, there's the horizontal scroll wheel, perfect for video editing in Excel, and the forward and back buttons, which are great for internet use. Now where the thumb sits, there's actually a little pad, which as you push down, can be assigned to different shortcuts. And this pad has got a really grippy texture to it and you know it feels kind of weird pushing it down with your thumb but I feel like after some experience it'll get a little easier to actually use that button. So now we're going to take the mouse and we're going to try plugging in the micro USB which seems to plug straight into the front of the mouse. Uh, plugs in pretty well. It seems to do the job. Now plug into the computer and now we have the unifying receiver uh, this is just a standard unifying receiver from logitech uh, and i can attest that it delivers great performance with all of the other unifying receivers i have from them so i'm sure that this will be no different so guys that was my unboxing of the logitech mx master mouse i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and a comment down below letting me know and maybe i'll do some more of these kind of unboxing type videos if you guys want to stay tuned on the channel, hit that subscribe button and I'll be doing a review of this mouse shortly after I've field tested it at work and at home on video editing and anything I do at work as well. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, take care. Cheers.